Hey guys, Heather from US Japan Fam here to tell you how you can get more information from your raw DNA data in this video sponsored by Xcode Life. It is all the rage these days to spit in a little test tube, send it in, and get all this information about your ancestry. And I did it on a video here with my husband a few years ago with 23andMe. If you haven't seen that video, click right there, over there, there, I don't know where it is, but I will tag it. Uh, you can watch that video, it's really funny. Our little kids are so teeny tiny in that video. But we were surprised because my husband, who is Japanese, born and bred, was not fully Japanese and that was a big shocker. And so when you get these reports back from 23andMe or Ancestry, there's a ton of different companies doing it now, you get your basic uh, where are you from, which countries, which parts of the planet, it's pretty cool. But did you know hiding in those raw DNA data reports is tons of information, tons, and you just have to know where to send it safely to get so much information from that data. And so one of those places you can send it is called Xcode Life. And I will link below where you can get $10 off the package that I was given for free to do this video for you guys. So really cool. First I will tell you what I found out about my ancestry from the DNA report I got from 23andMe. I was 99.7% European. Shocker, looking at me, right? 58% <laughs> percent British and Irish, 22% French and German, 3% Scandinavian, 0.7% Spanish and Portuguese, and 0.2% broadly Western Asian and North African. So that's what I got. It's cool, but here is what I got from Xcode Life. I got the Mega Pack, and you can too. $10 off code in the video description. Basically, it gives you nine reports with over 600 conditions. And here are the reports you get. Gene nutrition, gene health, gene fitness, gene allergy, gene skin, the BRCA and breast cancer genes, your carrier status for a bunch of different really scary genetic diseases. If they have the MTHFR and the methylation mutation, and traits and personality. So tons of things you can find out here. They are compatible with 23andMe, Ancestry, FTDNA, MyHeritageDNA, Genes for Good, Helix, and several others. One of the cool things is how easy this is. So easy, and they, give you the reports same day. I'm gonna read you through some of my reports and some of the cool findings, and this is live. I haven't looked at them yet, guys. This is the first time you and me were in this together. This is not a medical diagnostic report. Ancestry tests are not clinically certified and should not be used for medical purposes. The health outcomes presented in this report are determined by the number of markers present in your genome raw data, which differ significantly between companies. Genetic research is an emerging field and the genetic basis of many health conditions is yet to be fully established. So keep that in mind. Talk to your doctor, maybe get more scientific tests done if you're really nervous about something. Your genetic guide to allergy response. This is not like a blood test or a skin test that gives you pretty outright, uh, pretty certain information. This is more like your chance based on your DNA, what it looks like you would or wouldn't have the allergy. So all of mine are, are low. Cockroach, dust mites, pet allergy, contact dermatitis, milk, lactose, pollen, grass, histamine. Those are all low and that's no surprise. I don't think I have any allergies there, but what the moderate ones are egg, nut, hay fever, misophonia, I don't even know what that is, do you? <laughs> Sensitivity to the sound of chewing and the trigger sounds are chewing food, munching, gum chewing. Yes, I hate that, that bothers me so much. How could anyone not be bothered by that? That's weird, but how does my DNA tell them I have a moderate risk for that? It's, it's really weird. Motion sickness, yes, that is, that is accurate. And photic sneeze? 
sneeze upon exposure to light? Is that a thing? <laughs> Is that a thing? I don't have that. Um, and then my high risks are peanut allergy which is odd because I don't have one and none of my three kids do, so that one is wrong. Next, we're gonna go to your genetic guide to supreme health. I have a moderate likelihood for obesity, what? Moderate for type two diabetes and for heart disease. Those are all kind of tied together, so I gotta watch my diet for that, I guess. Ooh, here's a high one, APOE status. APOE is an FDA approved marker for Alzheimer's disease. What? And that, that's a high risk for me? Hemochromatosis. Iron overload disease, high risk. You know what, my uncle has this. Oh, that's really scary. Wow, maybe I should get tested for this. I mean, this could save your life. Symptoms are lethargy, abdominal pain, reduced hormone function, arthritis, diabetes, and abnormal heart rhythm. So if you come out high risk and you have any of those symptoms, maybe you should go get a blood test, right? Wow, and then recommendations. So monitor your iron levels, modify diet, lower intake of fatty food, limit vitamin C, supplementation, avoid foods that are sugar rich, increase intake of foods and vegetables, drink tea or coffee during meal times, avoid consumption of raw shellfish. <laughs> so next I looked at the carrier status report and that is a good news, I have no no big bad genetic stuff that I'm carrying and passed on to my kids. Thankfully, what would have been cool was if they had the gene that determined if you have the hypoovulation, which I just did a video on that, that I don't know if I had twins because I have that gene. Okay, here's the fitness one. Your endurance to power ratio is 50-50. I should do cardio three to four days a week, strength training two to three days a week, and flexibility training three to seven days a week. Weight loss or weight gain with exercise? Unfavorable. <laughs> What's that mean? May not experience much weight loss. But I mean, isn't it all about calories in, calories out? Uh, that's Well, that's what, in my experience. Uh, exercise is great for your body, but it doesn't really determine my weight loss, so I guess that's true. It's still good for you to do it, but I guess not for weight loss in my case. Exercise recovery, slower. Likely to experience prolonged recovery. <laughs> See, nutrition, nutrition report. It gives you a diet plan, so it says I should be 45% carbs, 35% protein, and 20% fats. Unlikely to be gluten sensitive. Less likely to be lactose intolerant. Less likely to experience alcohol flush. Tendency to overeat. Moderate, ah! Likely to lose weight on high protein intake. Likely to lose weight on high fiber intake. So it looks like I should do high fiber, high protein. What do you think, guys, to lose weight? Personality, <laughs> this will be good. Empathy, high. Leadership potential, high. Openness, high. Extroversion, normal. Warrior personality. Hi. <laughs> I guess that goes with the leadership one. I don't know. Individuals with this genotype are associated with better processing of aversive stimuli and are considered to be warriors. What? Entrepreneurship potential high. Likely to have higher IQ when breastfed. Thanks, mom. What? Maths ability. Normal. Which is surprising because I was always like AP math from elementary school. But I did cry every night, so hmm, maybe I shouldn't have been in that program. Blah, blah, blah. Car driving skills, normal. I hate it though. I haven't driven in like seven years. I'm terrified. <laughs> Happiness, hi. <laughs> Morning person, hi. Night owl, normal. Woo, getting through these. Nine reports, guys, that's a lot. Skin genome, this is the last one. Your genetic guide to radiant skin. Oh my goodness, so it goes through everything from psoriasis, moderate likelihood, rosacea, low. I actually have rosacea, I have to cover it up real bad. I get it right here on my cheeks so bad. Tanning response, moderate. <laughs> Wrinkle and collagen degradation, moderate. Stretch marks, moderate. 
I do have stretch marks from puberty and from the darn twins. Varicose veins, moderate. Ooh, acne, moderate. So, that was a lot of information. What are my takeaways? Basically, high protein, high fiber. But it did say I'm fine with carbs. I'm not gluten sensitive, so that's good news. Um, and also that iron overload high risk thing that my uncle has um that's a little bit nerve-wracking to see that right in front of me when i know that someone in my family has it so i'm actually gonna go see my doctor to see about getting tested for that that was kind of eye-opening to see and so that's one of the cool things about this that you can get your dna report and find all about your ancestral origins and all that you can find long lost family i know someone who found out basically that she had the BRCA gene and she had a really really high risk of getting breast cancer i know one of my neighbors found her birth sisters because they were all adopted and she found her birth sisters and reunited with them like how amazing is that so you can use your ancestry reports to do that and then download the raw data to get all this extra information. Really cool. And again, this was sponsored by Xcode Life, who provided me these reports and has a $10 off coupon, their mega pack of nine reports. Link in video description. I will also link our original 23andMe report uh, below, which has my husband and my live responses to our original data, which is fun. And, um, let me know what you think. Uh, our comments are disabled, thanks YouTube, but you can comment over on our community tab or find us on social, it's US Japan Fam, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned. I've got a lot coming up. I'm gonna try to start doing videos twice a week. Um, we do a lot of product and travel reviews and I've got some birth story kind of things coming up. Thanks for watching. Bye.